Hey everybody, we're making a reindeer or regular deer, if you're not feeling festive, corner bookmark. To make a corner bookmark, which we've done before, you're going to want to fold your paper in half diagonally, fold the tips to the topmost point, like so, undo your little diamond shape, fold the top point, just one part of your fold, down to the bottom, and then tuck those corners in. That's the most basic corner bookmark. I highly recommend just making tons of these because they're a really good bookmark and they don't fall out. Unlike those flat ones that everyone gives away, everyone being even us. Um, they're cute and they're fun and um, it's a neat project to do with a younger sibling too because they're not very hard. Ta-da, we have two. Now to move on to the next step, you're gonna wanna make eyes. You need to draw an oval. You can either trace something, or I find if you draw a circle or you draw an oval and you just keep going over your shape, eventually you get a more or less normal circle or, or oval, and you can cut that thing out. I usually just double my paper to get two, and then glue those on with a little bit of tacky glue. Or a glue stick, if you have a glue stick. That's cool too. I had tacky glue. Um, you want to also save some of the white get a big enough piece that you can use a straight part of it to uh, make his muzzle. This deer needs a muzzle, his little nose. And that is achieved by just putting a piece of paper over the tip of your little fit deer face there and just I cut around it and then glued it down. It might not be the most centered, perfect nose, but it looks cute and it works. Where's my glue, I say? Okay, there we go. All right, I cut out some antlers. You can do this any way you want. You can even just like trace something with a thin piece of paper off of your computer screen, which I have done before. But I just achieved this by drawing half of the antler, folding my paper in half, and then cutting it out. It was a lazy thing to do, but it worked. And then I just traced it for the second one. Give him a nose and some pupils for his eyes. If you're feeling fancy, you can put a little dot of white in there to make his eyes look more three-dimensional, but we don't care. And if you want Rudolph, just change his nose color. <laughs> 